Trying to decide what to buy for fathers for Father's Day can be an absolute nightmare. So if you've got someone in your life that you want to buy something for, or you just want to pick up something for yourself, in this video I've got six different categories. I've got about 22, 23 different items that I want to cover in under 20 minutes at different price points. From under $25 range, about the $50 to $70 range, and then I've got some premium expensive things in each category as well, just if you want to go wild. I've reached out to all the brands that I include in this video, and I'm going to have links in the description below with discount codes so that you should be able to get these things for the best possible price available. Right, let's get stuck in. So the six categories I'm going to be going through today are pocket tools, wallets, writing instruments, personal grooming, productivity, and some accessories. So let's get started first and foremost with pocket tools. And in the $25 range, there's a lot of things to consider. And the thing that I think is absolutely best for $25 or less is the Victorinox Classic SD. SD being screwdriver. So I like this one because it's got a, it fits on your keyring, it's got a small blade, it's got a flathead screwdriver, it's got a nail file, and it's got a scissors. It's also got a tweezers, and it's got a toothpick. And you're bang for your buck here. The amount of power you have from this tiny tool for just $25, it is a classic, uh, and it's I recommend it to everybody. We've got a bunch of them in the house here. But if you're someone who flies a lot or you're trying to get for someone who doesn't want to have a blade, supposing you want to buy it for um, someone, you know, a 10-year-old kid, you can get the Jet Setter in the same price as well. It's about the same as the SD. I'll have links below. The Jet Setter doesn't have a blade. It has a Phillips screwdriver, a bottle opener, and a wire strippers, along with the scissors, and a tweezers and toothpick as well. So it's just missing the blade from the previous one. So maybe that's something you prefer to consider as well. Moving up through the tiers though in terms of price, when I recommend a pocket knife to someone, the very best if you're talking about a sack or, or kind of a multi-tool pocket knife in this price range is the Victorinox Compact. This is my Victorinox Compact that I carry all the time. About half the time in the year, I'm, I'm showing lots of different knives, etc. on this channel, but about half the time this is what I'm carrying because people are not afraid of them. If you pull one of these things out, if you need to cut something or take some batteries out at a kid's birthday party, etc., nobody's going to think that you're a crazy person for pulling out a pocket pen knife like this because it, it couldn't be you know, misunderstood for anything else. Highly functional. The thing I like about it is it, it does have a reasonable blade, albeit it does not lock out. All these Victorinox is kind of, they are a little bit more dangerous because they could snap shut on you. But it has a blade, it has a bottle opener and a flathead screwdriver. It has a very large scissors on it. These Victorinox scissors are the best that you can get. It's got a bottle opener and it's got this little pull down hook to help you carrying bags, which I've absolutely never used. Some of the things I like about it as well is it, like all the other ones, it has a tweezers and a toothpick, but it also has a pen, which is unusual. So the only times where you kind of catch yourself without a biro, but this will get you out in a pinch. You're not going to write, you know, your life's work with this pen, but it will be able to sign a receipt or take someone's number down when you're in a pinch. And I like having it with me and it does save me from time to time, even though I carry a pen with me on the daily. Another thing that's kind of maybe not well known about these is that there's also a little pin. They have a little pin within the scales of these. And I use that for pushing out SIM card tools, um, getting splinters out of the kids' feet, things like, things like that, just heat it up and get splinters out. And for $60, you really can't beat this in terms of bang for your buck. So if you're not sure about any of these and you know they don't have one of these, this is the safest bet out of everything here, the safest bet to get them. But if you are looking for a fixed blade pocket knife, I really like the Vostid Corgi. This is new to me. I've only known about these for the last couple of months. I've been carrying this one. It's got my car to scales. It's nice because it's either, you can use it, you can open it a lot of different ways. So it's kind of a fidget knife. So people who like to do it as a flick knife, you can just press the button and flick it and it drops down nicely back again. And it's got a nice friction fit close. Um, you can do a back flipper on it. So pulling it down from the back, or it's also a front flipper, which is not the way I like to open my knives. But if you do want to put your finger around the front, you can open it front flipper style. So lots of different ways to open this knife, a fidget knife, good steel on it, and it's very good value for the price. It's about $60, so comparable to the Victorinox Compact. But if you want to go premium on this, let's talk about the most expensive tier in this section. I recommend at $230, the most expensive is the Leatherman Arc. This is the latest in the offering from Leatherman, and I shot a whole video on the Leatherman lineup, video here if you're interested. And this was actually not my top pick from the Leatherman lineup. 
My top pick from the Leatherman lineup is the Leatherman Wave Plus because it's the best value, about $120. But if you want to go premium, premium, this is the best experience you can have from Leatherman. It's very expensive, but if you know somebody who likes tools and, and if you know they love Leatherman, they don't have this, you really can't go wrong here. It's a, it's a crazy expensive thing, $230 for a pocket tool, but I love it. I think it's fantastic. It's really high quality and, and it stands up to, you know, whoever you get it for will be happy with you. Okay, moving on to the next section, let's keep on going. And the first wallet in this section in the budget range at less than $25 is this Herschel front pocket wallet. All the wallets I'm gonna talk about are front pocket wallets. I carry my wallet in my front pocket. This is the Dillinger, this will not be on the list. The reason it's not on the list is it wouldn't be available for you. There's like a 10 or 12 week order time on these because they're all handmade. And all of these things on the list are for you who's trying to shop for Father's Day. So I'm assuming you're gonna to wanna to get these things quickly. So the Herschel is less than $25. It's got, you can fit about six or eight cards in it. It's got an opening pouch in the middle. It's really classy in terms of two-tone. This one's kind of a denim-y finish on the outside, gray denim. On the inside, it's got this little uh, red and white area. You can put cards in there, you can put cash in there, you can put different things in there. This one came with this, I didn't know, it was, I wasn't expecting it to, but it came with this little clip as well. And this clip is handy for just keeping everything together once you've got, once you've put all your cards in place, it'll stop them slipping out. Although I don't think it's a major concern anyway. You could also wear it as a bracelet if you wanted to. Maybe that's what they want that for. Anyway, $25. Cheap and cheerful, it's not gonna blow anyone away, but they are reliable wallets that will last a long time. Moving up a tier here in terms of price, but also in terms of being more customized and bespoke, this is the Carved Wallet created by Carved Company. They create individual bespoke wallets at $100 each. So this is a very, very basic, very simple front pocket holder. It's got a piece of wood uh, that's been carved to shape. It's got a piece of machined aluminum on the back with a simple rubber band where you can jam, you know, five or six cards in there and that's your wallet. If you want to, you can jam the cards in the front and lift up this and carry your cash in the back, which is what I did for a couple of days while I was trying it out. But I absolutely love this because there are no other wallets like this. When you go on their website, they're all entirely custom. So you pick the specific wallet that you want and there will be none like that again. Then moving on in terms of like just premium, I'm a big fan of Bellroy. I've talked about them a lot on this, on this channel. This is my personal Bellroy wallet that I've been using for a long time. I carried this for about six months this year when I was trying to find my um, wallet replacement. This comes in about $130. It's called the Bellroy Slim Wallet. It's, it's great because it's got these little magnets in it that keep everything closed. You, it's got nice containerization, so you've got different compartments on the front of it. You've got compartments in the back. It's got this pull tab, so you can pull cards out from, from behind. Um, and I found that I could carry about six or eight cards in this, plus cash in this wallet, and it, and it works beautifully. I really like it. I like the two-tone. I like that it's got you know the blue on the outside and the orange on the inside. For me, that's just like super classy, super premium. Not crazy expensive, but, but very premium, certainly. So consider one of these if you're looking for a wallet and you want to splash out on it. The number one pen that I recommend to people if they're thinking of trying fountain pens for the first time but they don't want to spend a lot of money is the Kiwiko Sport. I also like the Lamy Safari but I think the Kiwiko Sport is a little bit better. At $25 I use fine nibs, it's got a fantastic nib, I think it looks like a more premium pen than it is, I think you could fool people who don't know about fountain pens that this could be an expensive pen if you wanted, but it's a great starter pen. It uses really small cartridges and the inks that come from Kiwiko, you can get a six pack of different colored inks for like 15 or $20 as well on top of this if you want. And it really is a fun writing experience for someone who hasn't written with a fountain pen before or is thinking about getting back into writing with a fountain pen. Really, really great starter. It screws back in. It's very small in the pocket. It's very reliable, I, you know, great little pen. If you want to go up a notch though and create a little bit more, not in terms of fountain pens, but in terms of having a desk pen. This is a, a pen by Refine, and here I've got it in copper. I've actually got a couple of them. I've got them in titanium. I've got them in different uh, different materials. My favorite one is this copper one because you can see just how tarnished it's getting getting over time from me using it. It's called the EP1 Mini, and you use it. It comes with this little desk stand that you can plunk it in, and as a result of it being so convenient, it's, there's two things I love about this. One, it sits right next to my keyboard there, so when I need to jot something down real quickly or sketch something, if I'm on a call and I want to capture something it's perfect for that um, but also it's a fidget toy so if I am on a call you can just spin this little spinner they've thought of it and I end, find myself on calls doing this all day long as well as the fact that the click function on this it's a bolt action pen 
which is really nice. And I end up doing that all day long as well when I'm on calls, when I'm on mute, because I don't want to drive people crazy. Um, but for the price, these are uh, mid-priced, and I think that these are great for people who either want to carry a pen in their pocket all day long, it's a good EDC pen, or a good pen to have on your desk just sitting in front of you. But then let's talk about the premium tier. And this might upset some people because talking about premium products generally does, I found from this channel, but for this I'm recommending the Pilot Custom A23. So it's about a $360 fountain pen. So I would get this for someone who you know is a fountain pen lover, so I'm not you. I would just not you know splash on that out on this for no reason. There are way more expensive fountain pens than this. You can go down the Mont Blanc range, and you can spend you can spend as much as you want on a pen. That's the truth. But in terms of it being an everyday writer, they call this a writer's pen. The reason they call it a writer's pen is because it's got an absolutely massive ink reserve on the back of it. I've been using this for my morning pages. I, I write journals every morning and um, just write a couple of pages down of my thoughts. And I've been using it for a couple of weeks. It's fantastic. I would caution you: buying pens for people is like super personal um, and I feel like unless you know they want to custom A23 uh, maybe just check in with them but if you know if they are a writer and they you know and, and, and they're open to it it's a great pen albeit quite expensive Here's a different section that I haven't talked about much and I'm sure I'm going to get some criticism because I don't look like I groom that much, but I'm going to talk about personal grooming next. And there's a bunch of products in this category. First and foremost is Chicago Comb Company. And they sent me these, uh, disclaimer, they haven't paid for a positive review, but they did send me these for free. These are a bunch of different combs um, that they've sent them and I've, uh, and they're, they're really, really nice. They're made of carbon fiber. So they're really classy combs. They come in different um, shapes and sizes. And this is their beard comb. This one's at $15. So I think for anybody who's got, uh, you know, with someone with a big bushy beard or aspiring to grow a big bushy beard that they want to keep intact, it's really good for travel. It's small. It's an easy way to keep yourself groomed. If you're getting off a flight, something like that, this is a handy little slim thing to have with you at all times just to keep yourself together. But they have a bunch of other combs as well for different styles, fine combs for if you're doing your hair, things like that, each at $15. And I think they're worth the money. These are quality little combs and you can tell just holding it, it feels premium. So you might feel weird buying someone a comb for Father's Day, but I can assure you as someone who would really appreciate getting something like this, I think it's a really thoughtful gift. It's really quality, it comes in nice packaging and I think they'll like it. Okay, moving up in terms of price point for grooming at about $70 is the Life and Toothbrush. Now, if Apple made a toothbrush, this would be it. The unboxing experience on this is really premium. I know some people don't care about that, but it really translates through to the product. So it has a MagSafe charger. Exactly, looks like a MagSafe charger on the bottom. It's got some lovely features. It feels really smooth. It feels like it's made from the same material as, as Apple wall chargers, that kind of shiny white material. And when you turn it on, um, it's got a couple of nice features like an airplane lock. I've not seen that before. So you don't have to worry about your, your toothbrush running out you know, because it's on in your bag while you're on the plane, etc. You can lock it for the plane. And when you turn it on, it's an ultrasonic toothbrush that rotates its head back and forth as well. It's smaller than my Philips ultrasonic toothbrush in terms of physical size, and I really like it. It comes with three different heads. So for $70, it's definitely worth a try. Really premium toothbrush feel to it here. Stepping up in terms of price, more towards the kind of premium things, the next one up is the Mason Parson hairbrush. This is a $200 hairbrush. People are gonna think this is crazy, but um, this is not mine, this is my wife's, but I do use it a lot of the time. This was a gift to my wife from her mom for her birthday. But um, luckily my wife doesn't watch these YouTube videos. I've been using this in the morning to keep my beard groomed and it is lovely. Like it, it, it really just keeps everything straight and soft and together. And all I have to make sure afterwards is that I have cleaned it out um, so that she is not suspicious at all. So as long as nobody tells her what's going on, this is both of our brushes. It's a crazy expensive brush, no doubt, but you can feel the premium. It just feels great. It's different than any other brush I've ever used, any beard specific brush, etc. It's just perfect for anything you want to do. It just goes through you, just makes everything nice and neat and fluffy and uh, it's a great little brush. And then the fourth thing in this category, which might be ironic for somebody who's got a beard, is the Tatra shaving kit. So I've heard a lot of good things about this and people assume just because I have a beard that I don't shave. Well, I can assure you if I didn't shave, my hair would be up here towards my eyes and I do have to shave my neckline as well to keep everything nice and neat. So I do use a razor. I actually use a Mac 3 and I've been fe increasingly fed up with paying for Mac 3 razors. And it turns out you don't have to pay that kind of money for them anymore. 
we're going to go back to the way it used to be where you have a, a razor that's got a single blade on it and Tatara does that incredibly well this is the Masamune series I'm sure I'm butchering the name this is like a $175 razor on its own this whole kit together is like $285 they do on special again everything will have a discount or if I can or we'll have a link below so click on those to try and get it for cheaper but it's an absolutely beautifully machined piece of metal it's very very simple and it comes with the razor blades that you need so um, there's a whole set of instructions on you have to reteach yourself how to shave but basically it's about keeping your skin taut um, and and just gradually bringing the razor up to your face you're not going to do one big long line like you do when you've got the Mac 3 razor you use you use um, you put some shaving cream on your neck and you keep things tight and it's a really nice experience it makes shaving instead of it being like a mundane thing you do in the morning or trying to get yourself sharpened up it kind of makes it a, a ritual and a routine you feel like you're taking care of yourself I've definitely noticed that I don't get as much um, razor burn after using these um, so there's definitely something to not having as many blades and, and I think it's a really great experience included in the kit with that though you get not only the shaving head you get a lovely shaving brush so so what I like to do is take the shaving uh, cream put it in a little bowl use this brush I this is not this is not the kit I use obviously this is the second kit that they've sent me I use it in the bowl I bring it up I, I, I lather up my neck and I shave um, and it's just a really great experience I'm not the type of person who shaves every single day it is a bit of a rigmarole but for the once or twice a week when I do shave I kind of like the pageantry of it so if you've got someone who's into shaving or or you know they're thinking of cultivating a beard and they just want to have a premium experience $285 it's a lot of money but it's a really great product I think it's fantastic okay moving on from grooming let's talk about productivity and for this one I've got three different things but it's really hard to find something cheap in this area so the first thing I want to talk about is Plod AI I've talked about this before on this channel it's this small little credit card sized device that's got an on off button and a record button it's got a MagSafe wallet that can connect to the back of your phone if you want to record the phone calls that you're on and what it does is it records the phone calls or a meeting that you're in if you want to place it on the table in front of you and record the meeting that you're in and it will uh, write down, it'll understand how many different people are speaking, how many different users or different people are speaking. It will transcribe that full meeting, so it will create a full list of the actual conversation you've had. But more importantly, it will use ChatGPT and LLMs to create a summary of the meeting. What were the key points? You can query it afterwards. What were the things we agreed on? What were the things we disagreed on? It will do a key summary with some action items or takeaways that you want to have from it. It, it syncs up with your phone. You download an application on your phone to be able to use it. Um, and it's I think it's really great. Slightly more expensive, but more traditional, is this Lockbee writing kit. So Lockbee reached out to me recently. I, I really like writing on Tomio River paper. In fact, the notes for, the, for this uh, video that I'm recording now, of course, are done in fountain pen on Tomio River paper. Could I have done it on my iPad and had it on the screen in front of me? Of course I could, but that wasn't cathartic and it's not the way I like making these videos. So I really like writing on this very specific um, Japanese 52 grams per meter squared paper called Tomoe River um, and Lockbee recently reached out to me because they create a full writing kit so this is called the Lockbee Ultimate Starter Journal Kit so if you've got somebody who's interested in getting started in journaling this is probably the best start you can get them it's $185 so it's not incredibly cheap but it comes with a lot of notebooks so in here for that price you get this this kind of folio which can close shut like this it's got this really nice scratchy canvas material that's going to wear beautifully over time it comes with these it's got a, a mini uh, journal holder as well so if they want to have small kind of pocket journals or things they want to carry in their in their side pocket they can it also comes with this pen carrier I really like this pen carrier. If it's someone who like is into carrying a bunch of fountain pens and they don't want them rubbing off each other and they want to, like the kind of, you know, the rigmarole of having them in a pack, this is great for them. But if they're just into journaling or just getting started, in terms of productivity, this is fantastic. I like it because I can fit my iPad mini in here as well. So, it, it, you know, there's a lot of room for other stuff. So you can really make it a very functional thing if you want to have a computer with you. You can have your iPad mini. But taking that aside for now, you can have your Lapby paper, which is uh, Tomoe River. Now it's not 52 grams per meter squared, which is my favorite, which is like the kind of Bible thin style paper. This is thicker, it's 68 grams per meter squared, which is a different style of Tomoe. It still holds a fountain pen beautifully. There's a whole following behind this. It's just not the exact paper that I love, but it is great paper. 
Um, so there's a notebook in here. They, they come with a bunch of different, you get dot notebooks, lined, blank, um, and some other one, I can't remember. Um, but you also get this Lockbee organizer, which has got a calendar in it. I get a lot of people asking me about calendaring and organizing my time and organizing my life. But this calendar is fantastic. There's also room for sticking your favorite pen on the side of it. Um, and that's much cheaper. So I'll have a link in the description below to that. If you want to have everything from them, it's $185, a great journaling starter kit, but just having um, just one or two of these things makes it much cheaper. So go and have a look at those if you're interested. And then the last thing in terms of productivity is another AI product, and that is Ray-Bans. So Ray-Bans have created these meta Ray-Bans, which means that they're, I've done a whole video on these, click here if you're really interested in these. But Meta brought out these glasses last year, and these are LLM integrated, they connect to Llama 3, so Llama 2 has now been upgraded to Llama 3. These glasses have cameras in them, they've got microphones and speakers. As I talk now, I can hear it connecting to my phone. I can ask it anything I want, I can ask it to use the camera, I can actually hold up this Leatherman Arc and say, hey Meta, what is this? And it's now just made a noise in my ear, it's looking at what I have in my hand, and it's returning you're holding a multi-tool in your hand. So it's really, really cool. So that the, the fact, you know, you can you can create short little videos, 60 second videos on them in portrait mode by pressing here. You, uh, they're they're um, 2K video quality. You can take photographs. They all sync with your device. Uh, just really great smart glasses. They're like $400. So they're definitely in the premium end of things. But if you've got someone who's like a, a tech person, like a gadget lover, yeah, these, I really think, I've been using these a lot. They're incredible. I love them. They seem to get better all the time as Meta invests more and more in them. Moving on to the last section and that's accessories. And these are some cheaper items except for one expensive item at the end. So first on the accessories list, the Orbit Key Key Organizers. These come in a bunch of different flavors. Here I've got the, um, what's his name? Baba Fett uh, Key Organizer. You can get a bunch of different Star Wars ones, Obi-Wan, Darth Vader, etc. cetera. Um, I think this is, yeah, this is the blue lightsaber. This must be the Obi-Wan one. They've got all the different ships from Star Wars or they've just got a bunch of classy ones, black, brown, leather ones. They're $45. They will make any key set you have super classy. It'll stop it jangling in your pocket. And I really like them as well. If somebody got me a gift of one of these, even now, even though I have a bunch of them, I really like them because it's handy to have sets of keys, second sets of keys, just a really classy way to keep them. Third on the list is the Olight Arcfeld. So in terms of accessories, having a, a decent flashlight with you is great. This one I really like because it kind of feels like one of the Apple TV remote controls. It's got a dial on the front of it with a button on it. It's square shaped. Um, it fits in your pocket um, really beautifully because of the because of the uh, orientation of it. This one's really cool because not only does it have a flashlight when you turn it on, and the flashlight is 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 pretty bright. You can set it to three different settings, but you can also turn it to a UV light and have lots of fun when you go to a hotel room or things like that, or you want to check with a black light. Can you see stuff? I don't know why you might want to do that, but I've done it and been grossed out by stuff, so maybe they will want to too. Um, but having a flashlight in your pocket, you can also get them that have a, um, a red dot on it instead if you prefer that as a laser pointer if you're kind of pointing things out. But having a pocket flashlight is great and for $80, the Arcfeld is my favorite choice on that. So the second last thing I have here in terms of accessories that uh, would be great to get as a gift, here I have the Yeti Rambler. I bought this, it's the 36 ounce Yeti Rambler. I bought it for myself as a little gift for myself last week. The price is still on it, it's $50. Um, I just wanna have a big water bottle down here. I'm trying to drink more water while I'm sitting at my desk and I feel like having a bright orange water bottle in front of me is the thing that'll make me do that. I'll see it more, I'll notice it more and hopefully I drink more. Um, but Yeti's a fantastic brand. I like this because it's got um, it's got two lids on it, so it's got one to seal up the top, so you can drink it like a normal bottle. You're not just drinking out of a massive, you know, gaping crevasse. Um, but you can also open it up fully for cleaning, makes washing inside of it much easier. So it's got this kind of two-tier system. If you're insane about your caffeine as well, you can actually change these out for coffee lids. So the standard coffee lids fit on these as well. Uh, don't drink 36 ounces of coffee. Actually, if you do drink 36, if you're somebody who does that, put a comment below because I want to know what your name is. But anyway, uh, really great, $50. I would be happy to get this in a bunch of different colors. I would keep one in the truck, uh, one out in my garage, things like that. And last, the very last thing I'm gonna talk about in terms of accessories is a camera. And for the camera, I wanna talk about the Insta360 X3. So the X4 actually came out this week. And the thing I like about the X3 is it's $100 cheaper than the X4. So the X4 came out and it's an 8K camera and it's amazing. I actually don't think you need 8K from a 360 degree camera. You get 4K from these, they're $400. So it's not a super cheap camera. 
but it's incredibly pocketable. Look at the size of that camera. You've got a 4K camera for that that comes with a protective hood. It's 360 degrees, so if you hold it up, as you're recording, it's taking all of the images all around you recording. You can do some incredible shots with this. You know, if you go on vacation or if you're going, you know, you want, you want to get some great um, holiday videos, like things like ski trips where you're not exactly sure where you need to, to point the camera because something might happen beside you or around you. Or if you want to go to like a, a, ro a sporting event where you want to be able to capture the crowd as well as seeing what's going on in front of you. Great cameras for that. And because it's $100 cheaper than the latest version they bought out when this was the latest technology just a couple of weeks ago, I think it's a great shout. And, and I've been really happy with this X3. So give it a consideration. So as I said at the start, I'm going to have links in the description below with all of the codes that you can use to get discounts. I'm reaching out to all of these brands to see what's the cheapest deal we can do on them. What are some of the things in the video that you like that you think you would buy for people? And I'd like to know what are the things you think I missed the mark on? What are the crazy things where you're just not going to spend $200 on something because it's it's insane. Uh, I'd like to know how you feel about that. And what are some of the things that I should include next time? These are just things that were on my radar uh, that would be great gifts for fathers. I'd love to know what are some of your things so I can try and enhance this list and get it better next year. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck.